everyone, this is Beth from Art by Be Down. Today we're working on another page in our nature journal, my new journal that I'm creating. Today I want to make a flip out for journaling room on a page. The page that I'm working on is my cleanup paper page. I already have an element on this side and usually I try to do on the other side to balance it out. Sometimes I put it in the inside, sometimes I put it on the out, on the back. Today I'm going to put it on the inside. I have this piece of pre-printed acetate that was from Seven Gypsies from my scrapbooking days long ago. If you cannot find an element like this and you want something like this, you can make your own. If you have printing capabilities and a computer, you can go to your computer and under Word, you don't even have to have a photo imaging software anything just go to word go to a blank document pull up your image and fit print it out to the size that you want this size for mine that i am using it measures five by six and an eighth it looks like almost six and a quarter maybe so measure out what size you want in your page and then print that out on the word blank document. I have also chosen this lovely fox from Kelly's Crafts. Now, these are digital designs. And then I have, I believe these papers were by my porch prints. I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up. But I'm also using this journal page, lined journal page paper for this. So what I need to do first is, I want to tear my fox. I think the background on him is absolutely beautiful, but I want this page to be under my acetate with my fox sitting in there. So I'm going to take him and I'm just going to tear all the way around him until I get him down to the size that I need for my, for my page here. He is so adorable. I think he needs a name. So I think we're going to have to come up with a name for this guy. There he is. Isn't he just so cute? Will he fit? Yes, he will fit. So I think what I'll do now is I'm going to ink up around the edges of him. And then I'm going to glue him onto my paper. Keeping in mind, this is how big my piece of acetate is and make sure that he gets centered in there just like that. I want to keep this fold here, so I don't want to rip on that side. So I'll tear here, tear here, and tear here. First, let's get our fox down. Since we're working paper on paper and it's lightweight paper, I can add this with just a glue stick. So I'm gonna go around the outside of him and I am using Distress Oxide Vintage Photo in this journal. I'm trying to keep everything cohesive so when I start a color on inking up around edges of things in the beginning of my journal process, I like to continue that all the way through. So there is our cute little foxy guy. And let's take our Yoohoo stick, put enough glue on the back of him, glue him down. Remembering it's most important to keep him within these lines that we put on here. So I'm going to put him down here in the right hand corner of my page. Make sure he's all smoothed out, all nice. Then I will take my and I'm going to tear this page to size. So I drew a line here, uh, should do it right there, and tear that. And then I drew a line here, and a line here. And this should make the right size for my piece of acetate that I have, here and here. And there we go, there he is, he's so cute. Now our paper does stick out just a little bit, um, I think I will trim just the hair off the top to try to even that up a little bit. I think I went crooked is what I did. I'm always going crooked. Let's see how this looks now. Better cheddar. There we go. Now, what I need is to have this piece of acetate attached to this piece of paper. I think I will do the three sides. I'm not sure if I want to put something in there or not. I might put like a little tag along the bottom. I don't want to cover his face. So let's ink up the edge of this paper now that we have it cut to size. Don't forget to do the inside. And then let's use some of our art glitter glue. Put it along the top, the bottom, and the right left-hand side. 
bearing in mind that you don't want to go real close to the openness of this. Keep your glue along the dark edge and not too close to the openness because it's going to seep in a little bit and you really don't want to see the glue. Although the art glitter glue is pretty good, but now to add it to our page, we could take a piece of cardstock and make a hinge. This is too big. I wouldn't want to add it anything that big. Let me cut it down to size a little bit so that we can see if that's what we want to do. And it's probably still too big. We'll get the idea. Okay, so if we attach this foxy guy here to our hinge and then our hinge to our page, then we have this whole area to journal on. If we take the page and attach it to our journal page, that's what I want to do. Because in doing it this way and attaching it right to our journal page, I can still add like a little border here if I want, if I don't like this edge here. I don't mind that edge actually. But if I open it up like this, I have all this room for journaling and then I can leave a pocket here instead of trying to get a pocket on the outside because I really don't want to put anything to cover up our fox. So that's what I'm going to do. Before I do that, I want to take this to my sewing machine and I want to stitch around the edge of this acetate. I'm going to the sewing machine and I'll be back. All right, I did leave this open for the possibility of possibly putting something inside. I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the edge of this and then I'm going to take this. It'll be just the top, the bottom and the left hand side. And then I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and glue it in. Before I do that, I'd like to strengthen the edge of my page just a little bit. And this certainly would work. I have also found in my journal making that sometimes these pages, when you're putting things in and out, they tend to tear. They don't really hold up all that well. I think I'm going to leave this edge because I kind of like that edge. And I think I'll put my cardstock that I cut down for a hinge and use it over here instead. So I'm going to ink that up. And there I have my protector here. I'll glue this on and then I'll stitch up here and then I'll add it to my page on the other three sides. On this, this side, I'm going to leave it open to create another pocket. I don't put it right in the center. I don't put it way at the bottom or way at the top. I kind of bring it down from the top or I would bring it up from the bottom and put my paper. Keeping away from the seam where we're gonna be sewing our book together and try to make it as straight as possible. I'll be back after I sew this. All right, I'm back. We have now this really nice element where we have a pocket here, should we choose to open to use it. We have a flip out that opens and we have journaling room here. We have a tuck spot here and behind here we have another pocket. It's all been stitched on so it's going to stay in place and he is so adorable. Let's see what we can do about decorating this up a little bit further. Let's start with making our tags. We have to get something that fits, so hold on. Again, I have my stack of pantry boxes that I have gessoed. And will this fit? That fits pretty darn well, actually. So I'll just trim that up a little bit, and that can be that tag. We have some of this packaging. Oh, what we have here is pretty cool. This is a um, file folder, but it's a real small one. And it fits. We're using it. Now, to decorate our tags... I have some scrap pieces of my cleanup paper here I will put on here. I think, though, before I start, I think I want to cut that down like just maybe a quarter of an inch so it slides in and out a little bit better. Let's see how we're doing now. Much better. By the time we add something on top of that, that's going to be just great. And this fits perfect. So let's pick out some of our cleanup paper scraps here. We have a bucket of scraps that I've been saving for collage work. Here we go. I really like this part right here. I want to add that on to the edge somewhere. So that's going to go on that tag. Let's see if we can find something like that to go on. And we have right here. It's very light though. And if we're going to do this as a file folder, let's, let's look a little further. Okay, so this would make a nice border across the bottom with just a partial fern. We have this little piece here 
that also would look nice there. I'm going to save this little piece out because I might use it even over here or on the back side of our tag. So we want this one. And I do think I'm going to use this one probably along this edge here. And we have the back side. Okay, so that's enough of this paper. How about some dictionary paper? And we have this nice tea dye or coffee stained paper that has a fern on it. Tear a strip of dictionary paper and see what we think. For me, collaging is just playing with the papers until I get to a design where I think, okay, that really works for me, and then I go with it. So being that this tag, this journal card, is going to go in from the right to our pocket, I want to keep most of my bulk on the right. And I really like the dictionary paper with that. So we can turn our dictionary paper, even though it's not going in the right direction, and have it be like that. Maybe pull it up a little bit more so we can get both of those on there. I think we need color on there. If you remember our last page we did, we had to add color because it was just way too white for me. We can also add this strip is what we cut off from our uh, page to make it the right size. We can also add some of that. I'm not sold on it going that direction is all. So maybe let's try it over on this side. I think if I put that edge up, I might like it better. Yes, I do. So there we have the layers for the front of that. Although this wouldn't be so bad if it was going vertical. I think right now what's drawing my attention away from what I'm doing with my collage is the color of these um, cards. So let's, let's fix that. Colors that I want to use is forest moss, rusty hinge, and then of course the tea dyed. All right, so I have my, my acrylic block. My forest moss, I put my moss on there, give it a mist with my mini mister, and swipe the ink on my cards. That's nice and dark. It's much better than white. I'm going to get those dried and I'll be back. All right, now I'm adding some tea dyed around where the more of the white is and blending that in around and amongst the forest moss that I put on. And I'm just using my applicator tool to do that with. I mean, I have to cover up all the white and I wanna do both sides. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take my rusty hinge and I am going to use the applicator tool and I'm gonna put it around the outside of my, my cards, front and back. Now that I have that done, I want to take my mini mister and I'm gonna spritz on the rusty hinge, which is the oxide ink. Just adding a little bit of that ink to some of our elements here that we're going to put on our page. I misted that, and after I misted it, that's not the effect that I wanted. So I'm removing some of this and putting it on some of our collage plate pages so that I can add it again and I want to leave drops. I don't want to miss it. So all's not wasted. We added a little bit of color to those. And here's what I was after, was these drops. And in putting my paper on there and moving it that way, it, it gave it to me. So I'm going to dry this and start and do this again. So I'll add a little more of my rusty hinge around the outside edges. And if you'll notice, I'm hitting the corners harder. I'm putting more on the corners of my cards than I am around the edges. So I'll get that inked up and then I'll show you how I want to add my water to it. All right, I have a watercolor brush here and it's it's a rather thick one so it's going to hold enough water and this is just water and I'm going to take it and I'm going to just tap it and put some drops of water around the outside edges of these cards or wherever the water lands. As you see now, it's pooling up and it's giving this, what they call, it's, it's oxidizing. It's um, taking the edges, it's taking the ink, and it's just kind of spreading out. I really like what we've got going on down here in the green. This is beautiful up in this corner. We have a really nice spot going on here. So it's, it's working, it's really cool. I'll let these dry to a point, and then I'll take my heat gun and I'll finish drying them. All right, there we have it. They're all dry. 
I think they're beautiful. I love the color. Let's lay them on our page and see what we think. I think they're going to match beautifully with our project that we're doing. Now, we will add our collage elements to it and a focal point and get these tags done. So, we have chosen these papers and let's get them glued down. I am going to use some tacky glue for this. I have to decide which which side I want for the back for journaling on and I think it's gonna be this side. I, I This is just too pretty, I don't wanna cover that up. So, this is pretty too, but I like the other better. So we had these laid out where they were going to go, going on the other one. This was going on this one. And I do believe we had, I think we had something else. Over here we had this, we had this. Yes, yes, yes. And we had a piece of dictionary paper. It may have been a piece of this. I don't know, I have my fans on, things do get blown around. I do think I wanna add, it doesn't show though. If I do it that way, it will show. So we're gonna add a piece of that. So let me get that torn down to size and we'll ink up around the edges of it. Let's tear this edge here and let's put some ink on the edge. We're gonna use the tea dyed, uh, the tea dyed mixed with uh, Rusty Henge. <laughs> we'll do up all of our papers at this point. All right, so these are all colored up. I think they're beautiful front and back. And now I have also chosen what I'm going to use for texture today. Texture that I want to use is this drywall tape. So I'll cut a couple pieces off according to the size of my card. And they are pretty sticky. And then I'm gonna be adding things on top of it. So I'm going to just put this down here and then I'll put this one down over here. For this bigger card, we have a friend for our fox and that is going to be a chipmunk. I'm going to ink up the edges with tea dyed and then over here we have a black fox. And I also have some of the copper foil that I've been using in this journal and I'm gonna add a little bit of that to each page, each card. So this one can take a full strip and this sticks pretty well with the art glitter glue. So I'll get that put on. I just love the way that this copper foil looks with this cleanup paper. Um, they just really complement each other. Now, as you see, I'm pressing this copper foil down into this drywall tape and it's picking up that texture so that is really cool so we have a piece for over here too first let's get this one done let's put our chipmunk down we want to be able to see all the elements so he's going to go right about there and i'm going to put him down with some tacky glue and then we'll come over here to our fox get a little bit of our gold copper foil we're going to put about this much and put it down right along the bottom edge of our drywall tape and press it in to our drywall tape. There again, we have some really nice texture going on. Our fox, we'll tacky glue on the back of our fox. And we wanna be able to see everything. And it's pretty easy on this one because it all sticks out to the right. We are covering up quite a bit of that copper foil, but there's not too much I can do about that. So press our fox down. He's a beautiful fox too. Here, now we have to decide, are they finished or do they need something more? Let's see how they look on our page and decide if they have enough on them or not. So this one is going to go inside like this. And then this one is going to go inside like this. Okay, I already know I want to put a, this has a tab here. I want to put a page tab on this one. So let me find a page tab. All right, this has some of the paper, the music paper that I had torn off for the fox to use, and I'm gonna use that as my page tab. Ink up around the edges, put that on just like that. Do we want something more underneath it or are we happy with the way that looks? Add a little cheesecloth to this. We'll take it, we'll put it on here like this, and then we'll put our page tab so that the cheesecloth shows front and back and we're just going to staple this down. And that's just a standard stapler, it's nothing fancy. Maybe a little word here, I think we need a little word. The world is my canvas and I create my reality. Just dress up the edges. 
I guess I'm kind of addicted to adding cheesecloth to all my projects. That looks better like that. Now that looks better, I think. So let's put a little bit of tacky glue to hold the cheesecloth in place. And then tacky glue on our little label. And this little label is by Altered Arts Designs. And the back of them is great for journaling on. This is perfect. I'm very happy with that one. This one, it has a tab up there. Maybe a quote or a word. Let's see what else we have. Do we want to do another quote? How about inspire? Just a word. Ink up the edge of that and put that right there with a little bit of cheesecloth, of course. Glue down our cheesecloth. Put some glue on our label. And this label is from Calico Collage. Okay, so here is for our tuck spot, journaling room on back. Here is for our pocket, again with journaling room on back. So we'll slide that in, just like so. And we'll put this in our tuck spot. And I think for our tuck spot here, I'm just going to take my Versamark and my stamp, my script stamp, and I've been using this throughout the journal so far, and just add that right there to that, like that. And am I going to emboss it? Yes, I think I will emboss it. That completes this part of our project. Now to the front. I think I don't want to detract from the fox. I'm in love with this fox. I, I can't I can't I can't detract from him. So I think what I could do though is maybe put a little bit of something down here in this corner. So let's take some of our papers that we have left over, something like that. Let's ink that up. Is one side better than another? I don't think so. Go down there. Remember this piece that I said that was we could use somewhere? That's going to go down there. And then just a little, little element there. I have in in out in the wild, out in the woods, seen Fox playing with a butterfly one day. So we're going to add a butterfly for our fox to play with. All right, so we'll ink them up and glue this all down with tacky glue. And I think we'll have some other little word or quote or something out here. So I've chosen this dictionary um, word here, beautiful. And then this little label, number label here. So I think up his antennae and put that just like that. Everything doesn't have to always be straight on. And these are from My Porch Prints. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have liked this video. If you do, please hit like and subscribe. That's the only way my channel is going to grow. And then come back again and see us soon. So you have a wonderful day.